was Liz, you know, he's, I think most probably one of my favourite singers of all time, you know, and there's something just so otherworldly about her that you can't quite put your finger on, and I don't think she can quite put a finger on, and that's what makes it really brilliant. Yeah, I think because she doesn't actually realise how brilliant she really is. Seeing My Bloody Valentine on stage, for instance, when Kevin Dizzy made me realise, and he's playing one note for 15 minutes and it's permeating in, into this thing that morphs and changes. I mean, to me, out of all that lot, Swerve Driver, I think, were my favourite because they just sounded in a Mary Chain kind of way as well, like this American rock band, really. Dean and I just came from a completely different background. I came from a punk background and I think I just enforced my will, you know, on it and just said, this is how it's going to be. Have you heard My Bloody Valentine? Have you heard these bands? And I started to educate him in the music that I was listening to and he just loved it and he just got it totally straight away, which of course you would. They were a good band. I, I thought they were brilliant, do you know what I mean? It was like some of their songs, you know, it's like all of them. Ride had some good, everyone had good stuff. Lush, Lush, Emma from Lush had a very unusual original songwriting style, do you know what I mean? It's like I could say good thing, a lot of good things about everyone. We just tried to develop a sound that no one had done before, you know, it's the same thing. I, that was the only criteria, really, was like, this really sounds like anybody else who failed, you know. A lot of people really, um, I suppose, were kind of trying to be above the press as well, even though the press was massively important, actually. It's the lifeline of a lot of these bands because they weren't selling. I mean, Ride did sell. They did Top of the Pops. I saw them do it a few times, and they did sell, and maybe the, you know, the more kind of um, commercial end of it. But I can't actually remember reading the, some of the you know, Ride or Wimpy kind of things, but, you know, it's... It's ironic now when you look back with it, with you know hindsight, and you go, "Shit, well that is a load of bollocks," you know. It's to me that period and time was, you know, the last golden era in music, really, and I really do believe that.